Hello guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how you can refresh your components in React.js. I actually prepared a real scenario for it to show you what are the solutions that we can do and what's the better approach actually because there are some approaches that you can take but what is the better one and why. So let's start. This is my project. I have a simple component here. It is list of my authors. It already has one author only and I have a submit button. When I press the submit button, it will add a new author to the server and then I need to see it without refreshing the page. Let me click on it. In the network tab, you can see that the author is created, but my UI isn't updated yet. And if I refresh the page, then you can see the nearly generated author, but it was not updated automatically. So that's the problem. And we want to render our component whenever we add a new author to the system. So this is my code. It's a simple uh, React component called app and within it I have a list of authors in my state I have a use effect this part only runs one time when the component is ready it will go and get the data from backend and set it to the state and re-render the component again so the data will be shown and for the next re-renders this part usually won't run it is just one time run and the submit author function I just have some mock data here and I use this API to post my data which is a author entity it will be created in my server and yeah that's it i have just added some console logs i have my authors component it is here and to show you uh, how these components renders in react i added some console logs let's see yeah as you can see first the app.js gets rendered and then the authors components gets rendered then my use effect section start running and it will go and get the data and set the authors so the app will be re rendered again the app.js will be rendered and therefore the author section will be rendered actually there is a fact in react.js when we change the state and the state value is different from its previous value then react starting re-rendering your component but if you set your state and the value is same as before so react sees that there is no difference in your state with the previous one so for improving performance it doesn't re-render your app because it thinks it is unnecessary so to re-render my app uh, one solution which is suggested by React team is this one. Yeah, here you can see, is there something like force update in React hooks? And they suggested we do something like this. We should use a reducer. The first argument is a function to apply changes whenever we call the force update. And the second argument is the initial value of my reducer, which is zero. And whenever I run the force update function, then it will increment the value. So let's use it to see if it can help a project or not. So I add my reducer here let me import the use reducer and then i can call the first update function like this and let's see the console how will it look like so i already have two users and my console is here four times no problem let's press and yeah you can see this time when i press this button my app js file got re-rendered and also their authors but the problem is the new created author is not added into my list so let me show you why it happens actually the first update did well and it rendered my app js and also its child which is the author js but since the data isn't changed and it's stored in the author's variable so even if it is getting re-rendered again but since the data is the same so we don't see any change in reality so the first approach that we can take is to just copy this section and paste it after our update operation but it's not very good and clean second option that we have here is to add this ignored or maybe reducer value because we are going to use it so better to name it something else Else, I add the reducer value to my dependency array in my use effect. How it works? Actually, if this dependency array is empty, this section only one runtime, as I said, in the beginning of your component, no more times. But when you add something inside the dependency array, whenever there is a change for the dependency that you add here, this section again runs. So if I add this variable to this part, when the reducer value gets incremented then this section 
will be called again and again so let's see i have my first update here and for the result i have two user five and if i press this button you can see that it's updated and added to my list but because react says that try to avoid this pattern if possible we should try that and how let me show you sometimes your backend is returning the data which is newly created for example in my scenario when i create a new data i get the this one the post one when i create create data my server returns the newly created data back to me so i can read it like this const new author and then i get it and then i append it to my authors array so i do set authors and i write a function here to access the previous value of it so old authors and then first add all of the old authors and then add my new author to the end of the list then i can remove this part i can remove this part and this part and it should work so well because actually i changing my state to a new value i immediately update it and since react checks that the author state is not same as before it starts rendering and running this section again so the list will be updated let's see let me close this part i have three user five and if i press it you can see that the new one is added automatically to my list and that's the best option that you can take for this scenario so always try to avoid using the force update but sometimes you have to use it because for example your server doesn't return your data so you have to update your component and the best way that you can do is to using a reducer or just a state which has a number in it and you increase it whenever you want to re-render your component okay guys thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel and write me a comment so it can help me about how to improve my content for the next video thank you very much have a great day